And uh, last but not least, we definitely have the huge president, Mr. Brandon Harris. Um, does everyone have... Uh... That afforded us the, the opportunity to go and evaluate the uh, financial status of the students. It makes them more... What we hope to do with incorporation with you, so is actually be able to do a workflow diagram of the whole financial aid process, the whole validation process, so that can be posted and advertised, so students understand the step. What are some of the better immediate changes that made, uh, I guess, the best? Had to before June, before everybody leaves, um, we're going to start putting off the suite. They did set it in five times, but all five times it was incorrect. One of the problems, I think, that we face with the office is that not so much there isn't enough staff, but we need to beef up the staff. Like I said, it goes back to that whole holistic knowledge and people being able to handle a student's case once they come to them. I think what happens is it's not enough staff and managers and you have so I don't feel like they take into consideration how long a particular appointment will take. Thus, they'll schedule maybe 10 to 15, maybe even 20 people in one in one hour bracket of time, one slot, and then it pushes everybody back in the day because those people haven't been seen. You have like four or five windows in um, in financial aid, and then they can't service as many people as they've scheduled. So if my appointment is at 2.30, I'm actually not going to be seen until 4.30 after the office is supposed to be closed, but they can't tell me they won't see me because my appointment was hours before that. I feel like that uh, people, the people who, who I've dealt with the financial aid really don't care about their job or about me. Um, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I didn't want to talk to them in the first place. I just want my stuff done and the time to matter in the first place. So I shouldn't have to call 15, 30 times to not get, to not talk to anybody. You know, I was going to ask machines. And then when I did get to somebody, they was like, okay, hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Then transfer me to a voicemail that's full. Many of these problems, and a lot of problems here at Howard are decades in the making, years in the making. Uh, and there is an accountability and a responsibility that we have as administrators that we have failed in as students, you and your families. But let me also say there's an accountability and responsibility that you all have, too. I believe that this was such a great idea, you know, in theory. And I think that James and Brandon have done their best to present us with an opportunity or a forum to speak with our representatives in the administration building. However, um, I heard some things that were quite concerning to me, and they go outside of any financial element and have more to do with the culture of Howard University. And Start. Um, I think that the things that will be done are more um, along the lines of things they were going to do anyway, and they really don't care much of what we have to say. This is just more of a for show to make you feel better about how poorly things are being ran or pacifying the student body.